My name is Diane Avoli. Uh, my husband and I found macrobiotics about 1970-71. We lived in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and uh, my husband um, had epilepsy, and he felt he could change his condition through diet. And uh, once we found macrobiotics, we trying to make a long story short, but <laughs> uh, we moved to New England where we could study with the Cushies and um, started teaching macrobiotics about 1973 because Micho told us we should be teaching and since then I've taught at the Cushie Foundation, the Cushie Institute. Um, we run, have run a teaching center, my husband and I, and we I have taught um, many classes about pregnancy, children, uh, I've helped many women who've wanted to become pregnant. We have eight children and now 14 grandchildren, so we've had many experiences with raising children and made a lot of mistakes ourselves in the early years, which helped us learn <laughs> and we wanted to share those stories with other people so that they wouldn't make the same mistakes. Luckily they were just minor mistakes. Our children survived intact. And <laughs> we have 14 very healthy grandchildren now. And um, I don't know, what else can I say? <laughs> you know, in the beginning I didn't know I was sick. Um, as shortly after starting macrobiotics I had I had to have my appendix removed. It um, had rotted, but it hadn't burst. And apparently, there was a lot of gangrene in my body, and they didn't think I was going to survive. So, my husband started sneaking in uh, brown rice and lentils. We'd only had one cooking class at the time, so that's all he knew how to make. And uh, within four weeks, I was totally healed, and the doctors were amazed that I survived. And about three months after uh, following macrobiotics, my husband's tests were totally clear and his uh, epilepsy was gone. So that's really what convinced us to move to New England and really study more, find out more about uh, this magnificent journey. So you did, you did a lot of traveling as well? Oh, in my teachings, yeah. yes. I've taught, um, I taught at the KI in Holland and I've taught around Canada, all around the United States, um, a little bit in Belize and in Australia. I spent three weeks there teaching. Um, but I do a lot of teaching now at the Cushy Institute in the Berkshires, the KI in the Berkshires. And I still do some traveling around the United States teaching and some out of my home. So how's your view of macrobiotics changed? I mean, some people see it as quite a narrow diet or have they got ideas about macrobiotics? Oh, no, I don't find it now at all. There, There is no one macrobiotic diet. There's a standard, but that gets changed for each individual person. So depending on your condition, you may choose to include certain foods or not include certain foods to change your own condition. But that is totally individual. So how has your personal experience been? Uh, with macrobiotics? My personal experience. Well, after having macrobiotics uh, <laughs> changed my life totally, um, saved my life, I uh, had other minor problems that were healed along the way. Um, a little bit of arthritis that I actually had when I was like 20 years old, totally left. And uh, um, my back, I had back pain as a child and an early adult, young adult, and that totally healed. Um, so my healing process has been terrific and my health has been very good. I'm very active now at, um, at age 60. I'm, um, my husband and I scuba dive and we, I swim all the time. I walk, I dance and do all kinds of exercise. And I'm a lot healthier now than I was when I was younger. I have a lot more energy and need it to keep up with all the grandchildren. And um, my diet is not a narrow, restrictive diet. I'm not healing from anything, but it's still all standard macrobiotic food. And 
Um, so, what's that? so what's the story that, that you gave birth to oh, a child yes. in the cooking? My, <laughs> I have seven daughters and then one son. When I was expecting my youngest daughter, all my births had been very easy, but um, I had some upsetting news related to my parents, and so I was feeling a little upset. And uh, I was teaching a cooking class when um, I thought I was just, what I was feeling was just from being upset, worried over my parents. And it turned out that I was in labor and didn't realize it until my water broke. And uh, I just asked, I said, please, everyone leave. And I said, wait a minute, I need the women back. Hmm. And I told them what was happening, and they said, what can we do? And I just said, catch the baby. <laughs> And uh, that's what they did, and I was totally embarrassed, but <laughs> it was a perfectly normal birth. And there were actually some women in the class who worked in the neonatal unit in the hospital, but they had no idea what to do without their equipment. Yeah. So like, we took the kitchen knife and cut the cord, and we borrowed a shoelace from someone's sneaker to tie the cord <laughs> off with. Someone had laundry in her car, and she went and got some towels to wrap the baby in. <laughs> and that's all there was. The, the nurses just kept looking at the placenta, saying it's so clean. They couldn't understand it. And then the baby, too, was so clean. Mm. And that was because I don't eat any dairy food, so there was no mucus on the baby. Mm. And also the placenta was just totally clean without any mucus in it. Mm. So they were amazed about that. And uh, the, I was just embarrassed, like I said, but uh, someone took pictures and someone actually called um, the Boston Globe <laughs> and showed up at my house the next day and asked for a picture and I said, yeah. okay. Yeah. And then it turned out Micho took a copy of that picture. He was traveling around Europe and he Ooh. said, look, <laughs> such dedication to macrobiotics. <laughs> <laughs> it totally embarrassed me more, yeah. but that was um, twenty about twenty four years ago. So I've gotten over being embarrassed about it. Mm. So, what would your advice be to young families, young parents, um, young start, families, starting macrobiotics? Starting macrobiotics um, to follow, um, to study, so they know what they're doing, to cook good healthy meals, but not to f try to feed their children as if they're sick, unless there is a condition they're trying to change. But in general, children should have a very wide diet with plenty of fats and oils, um, because they're little and they need to grow big, very little salt in their diet, and then gradually that changes as they get older, but uh, they need plenty of desserts and just a wide variety of foods. We're very fortunate now that we have the stores we have, when I started, if you wanted tofu, you had to make it yourself, and if you wanted tempeh, you had to make it yourself. Now you can purchase things so easily, mm. and um, just have fun with your family and get the family involved in what you're doing. So thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, thank you. Thank you.